Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2 in the last episode. We came here to Pentagulia, this two had begun, and uh, well, we met with the fake-ass goddess Althena, and uh, Lucia spotted that right away, and then things went south. Galleon helped capture us, Leo locked us up, and then Leo saved us, what the hell was that about? Remember, in the meantime, my friends, Ron Fargin and Lamina, all went off and do their own thing in each tower to meet with their respective, you know, storyline uh, rivals, opponent situations. I don't even want to call it. They're fucking, they deal with their own fucking stories. And in the meantime, Leo helped us out of here in the White Tower, and now we're off to save my friends. Apparently, they've all been locked up, according to Leo. So I'm curious to see if we get, I think... Uh, I think we'll get a little bit of background as to how and why they all got locked up as well. But anyway, we're going off to each tower to save my friends right now. So that's what we're doing. We have Mystere on our team right now, which is actually Leo. Don't even try to play with me right now, Leo. I do love that he's Mystere, though. It's kind of hilarious. It just adds to the charm and hilariousness of Leo's character, which was already so serious it was funny, and now he's acting like he's a fucking superhero, whatever you want to call it, which is pretty hilarious. All right, anyway... Um, there's no order that you have to go to each of these towers in, but because we don't have Ronfar, which is our healer, I highly recommend you go get him first, because, I mean, wouldn't you want your healer to be in your party so you can actually have heals? I think that's probably a good idea. So, that's what we're doing first. We're heading over to the red tower. Um, if you recall, the top right was the white tower, the top left was the red tower, the bottom left was the blue, and the bottom right was the black. So, I think we're probably going to go in that exact order, just because... We don't really. We probably need Lamina the least, I would guess. Dodge this. I don't know. Gene and Lamina, we don't really. We, we need them equally, the least. We would need Ronfar the most just because of the justice. But anyway, enough about that shit. We're in here just rocking tits right now, whooping ass on enemies with these flash blades and fucking po swords that they just can't handle. We're just too good for the asses. Also, let's just abuse this goddamn Althena statue. The real goddess Althena statue, by the way. The one that's down here is the real one. Not that fake-ass one up in the fucking shrine above. Screw that. Alright, so here is the red tower. Top left Kona. Let's go. So I believe first, we're going to walk through the room where Mari was usually sitting before. She's not in here anymore, but neither is Ronfar, for that matter. I don't think we can go out the door, by the way, like the front door. I believe that's still locked to us for the moment. I actually wouldn't mind getting through this tower without fighting much. Try to get up to where Ronfar is, and then we have to work our way back down anyways. So probably would behoove us to try to get up there without fighting everything. But, eh. I think between po uh, po Sword Man and Rock, Rock Paper Scissor Man down there... I don't know why I called that, because he has a rock attack, I guess. Uh, yeah. They should be able to handle everything pretty well. Okay, that was critical hit damage, but it did not do that much damage. Which one leveled up last episode? Like, which move? It was Rock Riot. That was the one that went up. Okay. So apparently the, his low-level rock spell is pretty weak. Dodge this! Meh. Oh, well. Dodge that, motherfucker! Hopefully this kills this thing, because this thing's not weak to physical you attacks at all. Spanking. You need a spanking. <laughs> what a line. What a line. Gotta love that Mystere guy. Gotta love him. I think actually all of the lines of dialogue when you're fighting in battle are different than when you're using Leo, too. Like normal Leo. That's pretty funny. I think that's pretty good attention to detail. Lunar's always been good about attention to detail, man. We talk about this a lot with dialogue, you know? You know, NPC dialogue just being way deeper in this game. It really deserves to be, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and do this move because it'll put all. Like, I'm not saying it des doesn't deserve to be good. I think all NPC dialogue should be good and worth reading. And not a lot of RPG series do that. I know one that does, besides Lunar, that I haven't played before, and it's an appeal that I've definitely considered. And that is. The Legend of Heroes series, which a lot of people have been wanting me to play. I don't know how much it's like Lunar. People keep saying it's more like Sukaden for its epic, like, war story type shit going on. Um, which obviously is, appeals to me as well. I love Sukaden. So, you know, combine Sukaden elements with 
lunar elements, and you are right in my wheelhouse. So, definitely Legend of Heroes is on my list of games I would like to play someday, but playing it on the channel is going to be a fucking, I don't know, a fucking chore, I think. Not because I'm going to not like what I'm doing, but... Similarly to something like Persona 5, it's going to take forever, especially if I do what I like to do, which is go around and talk to all the NPCs in a game where the NPC dialogue's actually interesting, like this game. So, again, on my to-do list, but not necessarily something I aspire to do soon, if ever. I mean, we'll see. It all just kind of depends on how long I do this whole Let's Play thing for. I don't have, like, a timetable or a and end the game here. I just figure I'll do this hobby as long as it appeals to me. And it hasn't stopped appealing to me yet, so that's good. That's real good. So, dodge this! Back now. I think. They're here. Yeah. Bang of justice. Sorry, I'm looking out my window because I think everybody's back. They went grocery shopping and other shopping, and I may have to take a mid-episode break here in a minute, but that's fine. You won't know the difference. Shh, you didn't hear me say that. Breaking the fourth wall while I'm recording. You didn't hear any of that. <laughs> dodge this! Anyway. Motherfucker, dodge this! He didn't dodge it. Kill the gargoyle. You need a spanking! You need a spanking! Just... Okay, I've only been doing Earth Attacks. I've only been doing Earth Attacks to him, but does the boomerang work on him? It does. Shit, I should just have been doing the boomerang. I bet you it does more damage. I don't know, let's see. The rock Dodge one did 96. This. this does... 93. Okay, so that's about the same. Does about the same. They're just really weak to magic, I guess. Not necessarily any particular element. Which is fine. Alright, so we gotta get through another room. Basically, we cannot avoid fighting these enemies. I would like to avoid fighting some of them on the way up, but apparently that's not gonna be a thing. Unfortunately. Hopefully, we can get there without too much more trouble. I'm going to fuck up Zigargo first, because I say it's. Because I would like him to dodge this. Dodge this. Dodge it! I guess they're not doing that much damage to me, so I shouldn't be that worried. You need a spanking. Especially when they're in need of such a spanking. Nice. Dude, Gargoyle, why do you go so far? Well, Reaper, I should say. Gargoyle, we already killed. Reaper Man, why do you move so far? Why are you so good at what you do? I'm just going to attack the normal one. I think between two hero slices and two Leo, uh, Mystere slices, you should go down. Indeed. That should win the last one's a crit hit! I love that crit hit! Crit hit's for real! Also... I wonder if they even finished going shopping. They might have had to, like, do a one one shopping, or tr one trip, and then have to come back and go to another shopping trip. Because I don't know how much a car can fit. Anyway, why am I talking about this on the video? Bro, no one cares. They only care about Dodge the lunar this. that is at hand. I don't know, it's because we're fighting fucking enemies. You saw at the end of the last episode, I was just babbling about fucking X-Men and, and internets. And, of I don't even remember what the hell else I was babbling about. Action figures and why I could do commentary and why it feels like it comes naturally to me. Like, man. Babble, babble, boo 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 babbles. Um, I think that guy's gonna be dead soon, so let's just focus on Mr. Gargoyle Man! Get him. Let him know. Dodge this! Let him know that he would like him to dodge this. Dodge, how low can you go? The incredible Rock Viper, yo. Do I have a lot you of healing still? I may have to use one. Just so I have enough HP to get through one more fight. Oh, potentially. Have I even found a treasure in this tower yet? I don't think so, right? I haven't found any treasures yet. I mean, we've only been in two floors, but not at one treasure. I mean, there's only two treasures in this in this tower. I keep wanting to say dungeon, but one tower at a time. Um, there's only two treasures in this tower. Oh, that was the last enemy. Though. Actually, you know, before we do that, then let's go up. There's probably gonna be a shit ton more, huh? Uh, we could probably skip the treasures until we go get Ronfar. I only have two herbs left. Oh shit. 
Well, I did not plan well for that. There was no shop in Pentagulia, man. How could I have prepared for it? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Everything's gonna be good. If you think we're screwed, you're might be <laughs> You're not. This. When is Hero gonna go up a level? He's still 30, dude. Even Mystere went up a level already. Where the hell is the level up for a boy? He's gotta be close. Are these guys just not giving a lot of experience points? I didn't even notice, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Uh, I guess we'll just fucking do that. I don't know. Like, that thing's almost dead. Fuck it, you know? Fuck it, you know? Wish I could give the other healing ring to Mister. I picked up a healing ring last video in the White Tower, but I ain't got no one to give it to right now, man. Hero can't. I mean, you can. St I don't know. Can you put two healing rings on? Now that I, I was gonna say they don't stack, but you know what? They might. I know you can stack healing like items and stuff, like healing a build. Uh, we call it like, like Saint Litany and healing ring. I think do stack if you put them both on somebody. So, could two healing rings stack? I don't know. Do I really need to have the luck ring on right now? Probably not. Maybe I'll try. It. The healing ring has been giving me about 20 HP, 20 something HP per turn. Let's see if it stacks and actually does something. You can definitely put them both on. Let's give it a shot. Maybe I'll get like 40 HP per turn. That'd be pretty sick. Won't need to use any healing herbs on healing herbs on hero at all. Also, ah, three of them. That's dangerous. Feel, don't be scared to use some new other abilities here. Can I slice them all? No. Not even in a lot. Okay. Well, then we're gonna zone them. Get zoned, bitch. Get fucking zoned, bitch. Actually, should we hit all? Let's hit all. No, fuck hitting all. That guy in the top ain't gonna get hurt that much by it. Let's just do that. Make sure they all die. Sibelium! Dodge this! Dodge it, bitch. Let's go. And then we'll uh, buzz him. Have we even done buzz blade? This actually might be a new one for us to see. I've only done the all hit and the single hit. Feels good. Here's the AoE. There you go. Buzzed him. Buzz Lightyear. Mystere Lightyear to the rescue. That's not a joke. I think I know why Le uh, Mystere's <laughs> single targeting rock attack sucks. Because I think it hasn't been leveled up yet. Like to its second stage or whatever. It's still stuck on its lowest stage. Because Rock Viper, just that picture of the rock seems so simple, right? Just a fucking one rock sitting on there. I feel like there's more to it than that. So. There's that hero level up I've been waiting for. Alright. I believe that also means it gets healed, right? Or am I still wrong on that assumption? No, I'm wrong. Okay. It does not get healed. I also wasn't paying attention. Did he get healed from the healing ring twice? Like double double the amount? I have no idea. Also, we're at the very top now. There's no statue to heal up here like the White Tower, though. Unfortunately. But that's okay. We're at the top. Let's go save my boy Ronfar, shall we? Um, yeah. Let's uh, Actually, before I do anything else... Be right back. Okay, right back at it. Let's talk to my boy Ronfar. Well, we gotta extend the bridge and save his ass first. We know how to do that though because we saw it happen in the White Dragon Room. Let's also not leave the room. I pressed X and it didn't interact with the fucking button. Dude, interact with the button, game. Interact with the motherfucking button. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, Ronfar, I'm here. We talked to him through the, through the thing. I don't think so. Anyway, we did it. Man, I thought the cavalry would never get here. I can't tell you how glad I am to see you all. Uh, hey, Leo, what's with the mask? Uh, uh, mm, uh, mm. He's pretending to be some kind of nutty super knight called Mystere. Go figure. Well then, Mystere it is. Well then, get a load of what happened to me. I'm in a serious pile of poo. What kind of pile of poo? Tell me all about it. Consistency, color, all of it. My dear Ronfar, why have you come all this way to see me? There's nothing left to discuss. Our love has grown cold. So I think uh, this dialogue was already heard last episode, but they kind of repeat it. It's only a couple lines. Don't say that, Mari. I've been running away, running from my true self. I realized that when I last saw you. It was then that I knew in my heart that I can't live without you. I realized that I need you in my life. 
but we must find a way to free you from this spell you are toiling under. But, Ronfar, I am this way because of you. Don't you see? We can never go back. Don't say that, Mari. You have no idea how I torment myself with the knowledge that I turned you into this. I was the one that made you drink the medicine from the supposed goddess. But, Ronfar, how wrong you are. It is you who have changed. Love me for the way I am, and return to the ways of the goddess. Prove your love with a kiss, darling. Mari, I, I can't join you here. Can't you see that the goddess is a fraud? And worse, she's imprisoned you in some kind of eternal darkness. I'm here to get you out, to find the real Mari again. Oh, Ronfar, let's not talk about that right now. Let's talk about the times we used to have, the games we used to play. And let's forget about this crazy mess that both of us are in. I wish I could, Mari. You've no idea how badly I wish for that to be. But there's more at stake here than just us. You've got to give me some straight answers before I can help you. Tell me, what is really going on in this terrible city? Why is it that you never show the sweet smile of innocence I fell in love with? All I see now is the fire of hate in your eyes. Mari, you have to tell me before I can help you. Enough of this nonsense, Ronfar. Nothing has changed except you. I am the same person you fell in love with. But, Mari, you have changed. If you cannot accept me for who I am, and join me in Althena's glorious service, I'm afraid I will have to end your pathetic life along with the others. And that is what I've... Ronfar, this is not me. Help! I am awash in a sea of darkness. I'm right here, please, hurry! M Mari, what in the world's going on here? Are you in there, Mari? Come back! Oh shit, dude. <laughs> That's one way to shut you up. <laughs> I cannot believe those memories still exist. I will soon wash them from this wretched mind. So apparently Mari's got some kind of complex disorder going on. Her real self's inside there somewhere. And when I woke up, I was in this comfy little cell counting hash marks. I can't believe that I could have been such a fool. Mari's obviously under some kind of black spell from the false goddess. And, is, and has been ever since the day I cured her from the disease. That imposter goddess will pay for what she's done to Mari. Believe me, she shall pay. Oh, you heard the man. All right, Ronfar is out for blood. Let's go fuck that fake goddess up. Anyway, now that we have Ronfar, we can do some quick heals. We're about to head back down the tower, finish off the enemies, and pick up the treasures that I didn't pick up a minute ago. So let's do that. I do that, I do that, I do that, that, that. And I don't think the enemies have respawned yet, right? I hope not. Now we good. And obviously, battles will only get easier as we get more of our party members back. Not just because of the heals, but because we can heal more damage, have more turns, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So, again, feel free to do the things that allow you to do all your things. Like Sibylum Sword! Make sure you hit all the dudes, though. Um, actually, you know what? Don't bother with Civilian Sword. I take it back. I take it all back. Um, you, know, you can go ahead and boomerang this guy. And you can go ahead and burn that guy. And you can buzz, buzz, buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Dodge I mean, Mystere is what I meant to say. Mystere to the rescue. I think these are the only two battles we didn't fight on the way up, right? The two in here that had the treasures. I think everything else we killed, so... As long as we get through these two battles, we get to go. Let's get back down to the bottom, heal up, and move out. Move on to the next tower. I think we should be good. And because of that little break I just took, I'm not sure where I'm at on time, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and go until we get through all the towers in this hey, video, just because be I don't fine. know where we are on time. I don't want to... I don't want to leave you in a weird stop stopping spot, regardless of how long it takes me to get through all this shit. Also, none of these fuckers died, huh? Well then, finish them! Key up! Key up! And key up! All gone. We clear. Maybe I could tell you why my little break even happened. Usually it's just a distraction because somebody's trying to tell me something or talk to me or something. But this time... My distraction was a glorious distraction. In yesterday's episode, I was mentioning about how my internet is the way that it is. And it's still that way. But I got myself an ethernet cable. That was the break. And uh, I was just running it through the hallway right now. I'm going to have to do some some cord management, of course, to make it more reasonable to have the cord where I have it. But in the meantime, my PC's got internet again. So, if all goes well as expected, 
you should be watching this video on the Tuesday it was intended to be watched on, as is the me episode I recorded Game yesterday. Or also, I should say, the episode I recorded two minutes before this episode, <laughs> right before this episode, will have gone up yesterday, and we are all good and back on track. I hope that can continue to be a thing for, at least for now. There's always regular life stuff that always blocks my recording times, but in terms of regular back to back to business shit, we should be hopefully slowly resuming back on track. I hope that will be the case for the foreseeable future. Again, I've already talked at length about how coming up pretty soon here in the next coming month, September, October, I actually have a lot of stuff planned to do, like going places and doing things. And it's going to affect weekend recordings and streams and shit a lot, probably. Also, we got a Hellfire Staff, which is a better version of the Flaming Staff we had earlier. We can give that to Lamina when we get her back. Also, we are going the wrong way. I want to go down, not up. But anyway, um, yeah. That's just, I just want to, I keep wanting to bring that up just to so you guys keep having anticipation for less videos here and there. Obviously, the move was a big situation, but it ended up not affecting the recordings as much as I thought it might, especially with the whole internet thing. Um, the, move, the, the move actually went relatively smooth in terms of how long it took. We did it all mostly in a day. That was pretty nice. You know, we brought over a little bit of boxes beforehand, and we'll probably have to go, we'll have to go back to the apartment and pick up a few more things that we just need to clear out and clean up. But overall, the overall move of moving all the shit went relatively smooth, and that was good. It helped that we had some my sister's friends help us out a lot. And yeah, that, that was nice. I didn't expect that, so that was nice. Also, I didn't expect these enemies down here in the underground to respawn, which is a good thing I didn't take the time to kill them all earlier. I just killed the ones that were in my way, and I'm probably going to continue to do exactly that. But I gotta get to the goddess statue, and I have no more MP for Hero or Mystere. So, I'm gonna hope that Ronfar can carry us with with his with his MP specifically. Otherwise, Hiro and Mister will handle all the hard duties. Also, it just occurred to me now that I'm paying attention that my healing rings do stack. So Hiro is getting 40 plus HP back, almost 50 from every turn. But I think I'm gonna change that right now. I'm gonna put the other healing ring on Ronfar. Ronfar is probably the next best character to have a healing ring on since he is your healer and you don't want him to die anyways. So I should take my own advice and do that real quick. Because we don't need Hero to be so overly healed anymore now that we have and spread the wealth of damage. So we can take off this fire and earth defense for now and put a healing ring on. I think that's probably good. Hold on one sec. <sighs> These fucking distractions, man. Anyway, what was I doing? What was I talking about? Fuck, it doesn't matter now. Now I'm all flustered because of that conversation that just happened. Alright, anyway, let's just get back on track. We're off to the fucking blue tower next because we gotta go save my girl, Jean! I gotta have Jean, man. Can't be without my girl, Jean, for much longer. It feels wrong to not have her with me in my presence. Okay, let's head down that way then. Bottom left tower is the blue one. This episode's way, taking me way too long in real time to record, thanks to fucking interruptions, I swear. Anyways. Let's just, yeah. I, I, mm, that conversation kind of flushed me, sorry. I'm, not just that it existed, but what I was talking about. I, mm, mm, mm. Anyway. Never good to be interrupted in the middle of recording with something that annoys you. Because then you lose fucking... Ah, then your mind isn't right anymore, and now I'm annoyed. So that's cool. Love it. Now we're just going to be bitching the whole rest of this episode. <laughs> I hope not. I'm trying to I'm trying to let the get swept back into the game. You love this game, remember, Funky? <laughs> uh, I should move Ron Far and Hero back to the front now that, um, now that we're fighting... Uh, or now that we have a healer and we don't care anymore. That should be a sufficient thing. Also, did Ronfar just stay up level? Nice. Go Ronfar. I'm thinking the enemies around here don't give you a lot of experience points by design, so that way they don't, you don't get super over leveled with all your party members together. I'm thinking that's probably why we haven't like been flying up levels with Hero. That's probably the case. Is there more enemies over here? If there's one more, we'll kill it and then we'll go heal one more time. Yep. Because I want to go into the tower with full health. 
I don't know if any of the other towers have a healing statue in them. Also, apparently, we're gonna fight assassins over here. This is fun. Let's fuck them up! Watch them as they punch me. Are they regular assassins like we fought back in Meridia, or are they like an upgraded version, I wonder? Not gonna live long enough to find out this time. Maybe next time. Flash, please. It's funny how you can go from one interruption that makes you so happy with the internet working to another conversation that can get you so flustered within a span of a good, I don't know, five minutes of the video. It's pretty nice. I love it. <laughs> ah, life. It's fucking, it's a thing. I guess I could just talk about why I'm flustered by it. Because then I'll stop thinking about it and it won't be... If I rant about it for a minute, maybe I can get over it. Basically... My phone plan is still with like a family, what well, was, still a family plan with my mom and my sister and my grandma and stuff through AT&T. And then, apparently my mother lost her phone yesterday, which, okay, well let me rewind time a little bit. My mother and my sister have been trying to get new phones. They were going to go get new phones. We're going to probably revamp our plan, maybe separate all our bills and stuff. Um, but, basically, my mother lost her phone yesterday, which was... Perfect timing for her part because she's been trying to get a new phone, right? Well, she fucking tried to go to AT&T, work on getting a new phone and blah, blah, blah. I guess they pissed her off. So she went to fucking Boost Mobile and got us all new phones. But I guess Boost Mobile doesn't have fucking Samsungs. Not that I only want a Samsung, but she got us a fucking LG phone. I don't know shit about any of the LG phones right now. So I'm a little bit annoyed because I didn't get to at least look at the phone I was going to get beforehand. Better fucking be able to do the things I want to do. Otherwise, I'm getting my own goddamn plan on my own fucking time. Not that I shouldn't already do that anyways. But 100% going to do that if I don't enjoy the phone that she got. I to, I'm going to look up the phone later. But I'm not doing it in the middle of the video. I'm already annoyed enough, like I said. I just want to get this fucking video recorded. I've stopped getting distracted. Let's get this shit done. I want to save my girls, man. I already saved Ron Far. I need to save my girls, and then we can fucking get back to real life again. I just want to live in my fantasy lunar land, man. Where Althena rules all. Well, the real Althena. Fuck this fake one, by the way. I'm gonna get fuck this fake Althena up. Fuck this bitch up. But we can't fuck her up until we, uh... Get everybody back, so... I'm actually not 100% sure. Do we get to go f actually fight the fake Althena right now? I feel like we don't. But it might be too soon, you know? These are the assassins, by the way. So I think they're the same ones we fought back in Meribia. I think. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going all out on them because they are strong little bastards. And fast. They go before all my guys. Not cool, sirs. Not cool. Maybe it's a good thing I put everybody in the back row still. Not that it helped on this battle, but in general. I know I said I was going to put Leo and Hero back at the front, but maybe not for this one. Though all these guys seem to be able to go all the way across the map, so it doesn't exactly slow them down to have me in the back row. It was only helpful for the enemies we fought in White Tower and part of Red Tower. It's all good. Once we get everybody back, we can go back to normal formations just in general, so that'll be good. That'll be a nice change. Pretty much when I get Gene back, then we'll switch things back up. At least we'll put Hero back in the front. Actually, we'll put, we'll put both in the front, Hero and Mystere, just so, you know, I don't have Hero up there taking all the hits. Taking all the hits, taking all the bumps, kicking all the ass, effing all the humps. Something that rhymes. Something that rhymes, something that rhymes. Something that rhymes. That's how you come up with lyrics. You just say the word rhyme and rhyme it with rhyme and rhyme and rhyme, and rhyme all the time, the time, the time. Dodge this! I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Did I mention I'm still kind of tired and loopy from yesterday, anyways? Like, so many emotions and fucking things in my brain today. It's like overwhelming. Probably shouldn't be recording if I really, if I was actually smart, but I just really wanted to, especially this game because. This game doesn't frustrate me. Like, the game itself doesn't frustrate me, so... That's why I really wanted to record this today. I just wanted to play something that's familiar, and I love it, and it 
actually would be productive because it's part of the let's play I'm doing right now. So everything about this right now is helpful in my brain. So this is good. Which I may even keep going and record more after this video, after this fucking episode, just because. We'll see. We'll see. I probably won't. I've got too much other shit I should probably do. I might have record something else, who knows. But for now, I should stop talking about things. I don't... Why do I say that? I don't know why my brain wants to talk about things and then I tell myself not to talk about things when really what else are we going to talk about? We're just fighting battles right now. This is the kind of this is the kind of situation where you want to have shit to talk about regardless of what it is. And I like how I spend time explaining my commentary. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Just whoop that ass, whoop that ass, whoop that ass, whoop that ass, whoop that ass. Whoop that ass. Motherfucker! Whoop! There it is. Whoop! There it is. Die. Thank you. <sighs> so I guess every tower does have different enemies. I mean, I, duh, there's the assassin, but this other ball and chain motherfucker is new too. I wonder if there's another new enemy in here, or if it's just those two. I don't know. How many fucking new enemies can they have in a in a, in a one? I was gonna say in one dungeon, but is this all really one? I guess it's technically all Pentagulia dungeon, technically. Because, like, each tower has its own couple of treasures, and a normal dungeon would have, like, its own set of ten treasures or so. So I guess it's all one dungeon, really. It's all attached by the underground passages, so I guess in that regard it is all one dungeon. But whatevs. It's a rescue mission is what it is. It's not really a it's a It's an RPG trope to dungeon, but it's yet but a rescue mission of my game and Ron Farm. And when I say girls, I don't just mean Gina Lumina. I'm, I'm talking about Lucia also. Lucia is included in my gear. You need to save them all, dude. All of them must be saved. You must rescue them. As soon as Mr. Ball and Chain over here stops being such a ball and chain and dragging my ass down, that'll be good. I'm actually pretty excited about the upcoming things to come in this next section of the game. Um... Like, we just started this two last video, and also Jewel Gauntlet. That's going to be from one of my girls, but we don't have them right now. Um, because this whole next section of the game is one of the more memorable sections to me, because we're actually getting to the point where on my very first playthrough of this game, I got stuck and stopped playing this game for many months. Many months. Way too many months, in fact. I don't even remember how many months it was. It was so many months. Obviously, I will point out that exact moment when it happens, but I'm excited because that's the part of the game I remember the most, at least because it frustrated me so much at the time. And again, I'll explain more about it when it happens, but it all has to do with the fact that I was all about not fighting every single uh, enemy on in the dungeons. I was all about getting through dungeons as quickly as possible to see more story. It really was a downfall to most of my previous RPG days when I was a kid. This certainly, this game, even though I loved it, was certainly no exception. I definitely screwed this game up plenty on my own as well. But yeah, we'll talk about that more when we get there. I'm just saying, I, I do like this this whole disc two of the game. It's so good, it's so good. And you're only seeing the beginning of it, man. So far, we're already good, right? We got the quote unquote twist with the galleon being the dragon master thing. Also, a ritual hairpin. Once we get our girl, one of our girls back, we'll be able to equip those two things. But anyway. Um, yeah, the Galleon being the Dragon Master thing, then we got Althena being a fake, like, immediately Lucia's like, that's not real. You're not real. And then, immediately, we all fucking get swerved, right? And that's right after we just had our little sort of tearful goodbye with everyone, too. All of that happened in the matter of one episode in this, this Let's Play. Again, duh, if, you, if you're a veteran game player, you know that all your party members aren't going to leave you forever in the fucking beginning of a second disc of a three-disc game. You know that. You're not an idiot. But I'm just saying, it's just funny how they they built it that way and the, the way they told it, like, you know, the way the story was told. It's like if it was a movie, you know, it'd be the midpoint of the movie, and you're like, this movie isn't over. Why is everybody saying goodbye? It's like the same thing. Do, 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 do. Anyway, I think this is the last floor since we got both treasures. I think there's about three floors per tower, and it looks like we're clear on this floor, so let's see if we're done. We are. No statue up here either. 
I'm not sure what this last room is. This, this, these, these towers all have this one last room. It's very weird. I don't know why they exist. There's no treasure or enemy in any of them. It's very weird. I guess it's just there aesthetically because it's supposed to be there. I have no idea. Just to give you a transition room to get up into the fucking dungeon room. What the fuck? I pressed down and it went out the room? Come on, man. That's not what I wanted. I'm just trying to go left. I didn't even mean to go down, but it looked like it felt like I was stuck. Alright, anyway. Gene, we're here! I must save you! Thank goodness! I've been counting the minutes since they locked me up. I'm just glad you're all okay. I was worried. Say, uh, what's Leo doing here? Isn't he working for the fake goddess? You know what the best part about this is they're all calling him calling it the fake goddess when none of them were there when it happened. They just know. Um, well, yes and no. Near as we can tell, this is some sort of elaborate party game Leo is playing. <laughs> He's dressed up and calls himself Mystere. And as Mystere, Leo was the one that rescued Hero and me in the first place. Alright then, Mystere it is. Listen, um, some really bad stuff is going down here. When I went to see Master Lunda report on the Shadow Dragon Cult, I discovered something very interesting. That's how you're going to word it? Interesting? Really? Well, let's see how interesting she... What, 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 let's see what she means. Ah, it has been some time since our last encounter, Jean. What has brought you all the way to Pentagulia? I came here to show you this. It is the mask of the leader of the Shadow Dragon Cult. What good is this mask alone? Did you get a good look at the leader? No, he covered his face before I could see who, it wa who he was. However, in his haste to get away, he dropped the mask. His voice seems so very familiar, and yet I cannot put my finger on it. Ha 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 ha! Gene, you always were my best student. But you never knew when to give up, to leave well enough alone. Your best student? What are you talking about? It was you! You are the leader of the Shadow Dragon Cult! I'm surprised it took you so long to put it together. But then again, you were bred to fight, not to think. And fight you did. Under my watchful eye, your fighting skill increased no less than a hundredfold. Yes, but you forced me to use that skill for death and destruction. I was little more than a naive assassin for your corrupt cause. You stole my childhood, Loon. I'll never forgive you for that. Never is such a strong word, Jean. Think about it carefully. I molded you into what you are today. You should be grateful to me. You molded me into what? An emotional wreck who is running from a past I don't understand? Or perhaps a trained killer who can never live a normal life? You took everything I had to advance your own selfish desire and gave me nothing in return. You never cared about me. Not really. I was simply another child whose soul you would blacken for your own evil purpose. A trusting child whose innocence you would tear away with no hint of remorse. Jean, Jean, you make it all sound so cold, so harsh. I did, I did care about you. Your skill was beyond anything I had encountered. You were special. We could have gone far together, but your rebellion has made us adversaries. I will end your, I will always be the adversary of evil, and now that I know who you are, you must be stopped. Well then, Jean, the hour is upon us. It is time for your final lesson. And a hard lesson it shall be. Key up! I don't believe your karate has grown so so very strong. Loon, Loon, you can't. Damn. Got her. Got her! And the next thing I knew, I was here in the cell. We must find a way to stop Loon. You cannot be allowed to continue stealing the innocence of little children. His newer, stronger karate of death is called the Shadow Dragon Fist. We cannot allow it to spread. Alright then. Let's go fuck him up! Alright, anyway, so now we got Gene back, so that's good. Gotta love having my girl Gene back. Let's formation it up real quick. Alright, so, hero, front corner. Ron Farr will scoot him up a little bit. Gene can go top corner. Eh, stagger a little bit. And Leo can be front bottom corner. Looking good, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just got one more friend to save. Let's go save her. Did I call him Leo again? Damn it. I might have called him Leo again. Well, on the positive side, I don't think I have to fight anything on the way back down. But we will have to fight back in the passageway below ground. So that's a thing. 
Again, I don't know where I'm at on time on this video, but regardless of how long it takes, we're gonna get through all three towers today. God damn it. God damn it. Dang damn it. Even if it takes us all goddamn night. Interruptions included. I mean, realistically, I'm only barely over two hours of recording, so... And when I say that, I'm talking about last episode included, so... We should be okay. Should be. Anyway, back down here in the bottom passage area. Yeah, let's go ahead and kiss some motherfuckers. We got Gene back in the party. It's gonna be real good. It's gonna be real good real quick. Kick some ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real good. Let's try out some uh, status effects with Gene and see if they are useful on any of these enemies down here. I'm gonna go with... What? What? Magic cannot be used. What? Why? Pray tell why come for? Why can't she use her magic? Or whatever, her abilities. She doesn't dance anymore? What is that shit? I just... Oh. Dodge this. She doesn't have her equipment. And Ronfar probably doesn't either. I'm an idiot. I bet you Ronfar is unequipped as fuck. I bet you he is. How much you wanna bet? Justice. And if he's not, then why is Gene and, and why is uh, whatever? I'll check right now in a second. Lady I'm actually kinda curious. High. She threw her fan only one time. She should be throwing it twice, should she not? I forgot like where we left off on her equipment, but doesn't she have a fan where she can still throw it twice? I'm so confused. Why couldn't she use her magic? What the fuck? <sighs> now I'm just all flustered. What the heck, man? We gotta check. We gotta check the shit out. Also, I have equipment to give her, anyways. So let's do that. No, she has Jean's fan. Apparently, Jean's fan only lets her attack once. Did I fuck up? Bought her this fan, and it only lets her attack once, huh? Well, I don't know why she can't use her magic. That's a little odd to me. Maybe it's a storyline reason. It must be. But anyway, okay. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. I don't have anything to give Ron for right now. Yeah, I can equip Bronfar. What am I talking about? I already had equipped him up. What the fuck am I even... I don't know. I got f I got so thrown off by the fact that she couldn't use her magic. I don't know. Like, what the fuck? Why can't she use her magic, though? What the heck, man? Is it because I gave took away the... I, I can't even, like, fathom why they would do that. It's super odd to me. I can't even fathom, my friends. Cannot even. So I will not bother, and I will just busy body fuck bitches up. Fuck them up. Dodge this! Dodge this! Let's fuck them up. This guy's not gonna be able to walk that far, is he? Fuck, man, he can walk hella far. Lady Luck, be kind! He ain't even got legs. Well, he probably does. Under that robe of his. These are a very weirdly designed enemy, by the way. Those magic guys, very weirdly designed. Like, like I'm trying. You, if you look at them, you're kind of like, huh? But like if you rotated them 380 or 380 degrees, yeah, 380 degrees. That's a number. 360 degrees. I guess if you rotated them 380, it would be more than one rotation. Anyway, if you could rotate all the way around them, is all I'm trying to say in 3D. Uh, they would look kind of odd, I think. But then again. Who knows? It's hard to, like, tell what's the face of the enemy. And, like, obviously, he didn't really have legs, as I said. He kind of has, like, a robe. I don't know. We're going to fight some more of them right here right now, so let's take another closer look at them while that I'm thinking about it. This Flash Lord over here. Like, he has those things sticking up. I think that's above his head. His face looks kind of like a Tusken Raider, but he's got that metal thing with, like, looks like guns. If you look at it in another way, though, you could think of those as, like, his, his like, horns or something. I don't know. There's ways to look at it if you just glance at it quickly. Obviously, if you take a time and stare at it, you'll probably be able to decipher what the fuck you're looking at a little better. But, anyway. Sometimes I don't take a close look at everything we're fighting here, especially when it's weirdly designed like Like, this. Like, I can't tell if that, like, duck face thing is, like, his face or he has, like, a mask over his mouth. Who knows? It's hard to say that, that for sure, either. Or if he just has one big doofy-ass nose mouth thing. Which could totally be a thing. Again, lo I would love to see the full-on 360 concept art for that guy. Which actually might exist. I don't think the book that comes with the special edition of this game is an art book, though. I think it's just, like, a extended, like, a special version of the, uh, 
the manual that comes with the game. It's just like a special, fully, fully hardbound version of the that. The, the, what, uh, nyuch. Speak English. You can speak the words. Maybe. Maybe I can. I don't know. Point is, give me some concept art, game. Yeah, if this special edition of Lunar Now would have a fucking art book, or at least like you know a mini, mini, smaller art book, I would think. I don't know. Would it? Would it though? Maybe. I don't know. What is there really to look at? Like, I guess because they have the fully animated anime cutscenes, you would imagine that there are fully drawn out versions of everybody, they like for behind. concept art, even enemies in some cases. I don't know. Maybe. Because I feel like the enemies have more elaborate sprites than the main characters. I, I, I mean, not that the main characters don't have pretty distinct des designs, but even so, the enemies are more detailed. Certainly makes things more interesting. Anyway, Gene, level two. Or, level two. Level fucking whatever. Uh, I still don't get why her attacks went down. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Is her attacks down because I took I put this on? That's what it is. That's what it is. It's because I put those fucking things on her. It made her stronger. Oh, I can just put that on. I don't have to take that one off. The one that like Im it boosts up the attack even stronger. That's why she's not attacking twice. Does it also block her fucking spells? Is that what it is? Are you kidding me? Is that why the Seal Crest makes it so she can't use her magic spells either? Well, then the Seal Crest sucks. Fuck the Seal Crest. I'm not using that anymore. I don't know why I forgot that was a thing. I guess because I did it like the last episode that I recorded before, you know, this first session in my new place. That's insane. Well then. Last tower. Let's go. Gotta clear the bitches out, get the treasures, and do the thing. Did I equip both things that I got for Jean on her already? Can she do some magic spells now? Yes. Anybody weak to some status effects? No. They're not immune to it, though, which is good. Um, I'll just attack for now. Now that I know she can attack twice again, that makes me happy. Another good thing is at least these enemies in here aren't immune to non-magic attacks, because that makes it easier for us to kill them with Poe Swords and such. We don't necessarily have to rely on magic. We weren't in a hurry to get Lamina back in the party, even though always good to have a full party again. We're almost there. The real question is, will Mystere stick around once we get our full party back together? I think that's the real kicker. He may, Maybe he'll stick around up until we get Lucia back? If we get Lucia back? I'm still skeptical on getting the whole getting Lucia back in the party thing. I don't recall if we get Lucia back right now while we're here in Pentagulia. I, it, we might. Even in my guide that I wrote down, I didn't write whether or not we do, so I'm curious to see. And here we get another jewel gauntlet. Remember, the girls wear the same gauntlets. They can basically, the, the gauntlet and the hairpins are identical for now anyways. I think later in the game we might get different kinds of armor for the girls for each one of them. I know in, uh, in Lunar 1, it was similar in the early part of the game. The gauntlets and the hairpins were similar, and then it veered off near the end. I think this game might be the same. I think. I'm actually not sure about that. Don't quote me on something I'm not sure about. I'm just really glad Jean can throw her fan twice again. Dodge this. Even though technically, the two fan throw is just as or less powerful than the one fan throw I was doing earlier. And I'm not using her magic in here, probably. Uh, I don't like to worry about it right now. Her being able to hit twice does have its advantages. So I'm not even gonna complain. Also, these fucking sorcerer guys are not dying in one post sword or one flash blade. That's a, that's just not even fur, man. Y'all should be dying. And they're slow as shit, man. I would laugh if you die from that, because that means they have hella low ass hit. Like, barely not enough damage to kill them. This should kill them though, right? Fan fan? Fan fan? Boom. No! How much HP do you have, sir? Wait, how come that one did. Hmm. Now I'm confused. Why did that top one take so much to kill, but the bottom one took one hit? That's odd. 
I'll go when I on my way back down I'll fight the every I'll fight everything we didn't already fight. So I'm thinking when we get to the top here, I'm probably probably gonna just call that a video. But we gotta get through all these fuckers first. There's a lot of them in here. Gotta get through them all. Okay. Uh yeah. Just keep bow sword. Just keep fucking them up, y'all. Just keep doing our thing, doing my thing, doing my thing. Is it weird that it's still on my mind, just thinking about the phone thing? It doesn't help that I'm sitting here staring at my Samsung phone, thinking, well, my mother screwed that up, because apparently she had to you know, cancel our AT&T plan. So, yeah. Until I get the other phone, my AT&T phone is kind of pointless. Again, I'm not sure how the transition from this phone to the other phone is going to go. That's why I'm really uh, annoyed at the whole situation. All of my shit better still work, meaning apps and stuff. Otherwise, I'm going to be annoyed. Real annoyed. I also don't know if I get to keep my phone number or anything either. That's annoying. Have to redistribute your phone number out there? Oh, that's, a, ah, that's like the worst thing I have to think about now. All the places I have my phone number in now? Do I really have to redistribute it to everything, or can I use my same fucking SIM card? See, I, see, I shouldn't have started thinking about it again. This is what happens. This is what you do. Let's see how we burn this guy. Okay. Yeah, so. That's what I'm going to be dealing with here in the next ten minutes after I'm done recording this. I'm going to be thinking about that for a minute while I figure out what the fuck. I haven't taken the time to appreciate the music as much today, so let's do that. I don't think we have the funky, cool music that we had in the fucking White Tower, though. The White Tower had such cool, funky-ass music. All these towers haven't had the same music, have they? And I've just not been paying attention? I'm gonna double-check right now. I'm gonna pay attention right here, right now, before we run into the next fight. Nope. Music's different. Music's more, more... It's this music again. It's This is not new music for us. Um... Eh. One of those should be fine. Let me just get into the door. I'll come back. I'll fight everything on the way back down. It's fine. Uh, there's a treasure here. Ritual hairpin. Okay, so we got a jewel gauntlet and a ritual hairpin for both girls and both towers. That's convenient. Very convenient. Now I just have to get the other girl back. And then it'll even be more convenient. Um, I guess we'll stick to the Poe Sword. Stick to the Flash Blade. Clear him out, clear him out. You know how we do it. You know how we do it. it, it. Dodge this! Still weird when I'm recording and I just like, what, you know, I'm focused on the game, but then when I like look up for a second and get distracted and run, looking around my room, I'm like, oh man. I'm in a whole Same different room justice. right now recording, and this is going to be the room I record in for at least a little while longer. A little while meaning they probably a good high. year or so, at least. If something goes something, something goes wrong, this will be my place of recording for a while. At least for the foreseeable future, let's say. Why am I post sorting? I don't need a post sword. I can jump this for you. Let's go. Kill him. Kill him now. If, Ron, uh, if, if Hero can reach him. And of course he can. He's got all the range in the world, dude. Can't knock the range on the Hero. Boy. Boy. Right, can we get through here without fighting another one? I think so. Oh, 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 oh. Right when my run kicked back in. Hey, it's okay. I'm wondering if... I'm just thinking, like, once I save Lamina here, if we'll have time, or if I should call it there. I'll probably just call it there, actually. I, I should, just because I don't know where I'm at on time. Dodge this. Yeah. These towers are actually taking longer than I expected them to take, honestly. So, if I would have tried to even continue to do more of the next three towers in the last video, I'd have been like, well, shit, this takes too long. Lady Luck, be it's fine. kind. Lady Luck was trying to be kind. Burn him up, burn him up, burn him up, burn him up, burn him up. 
Burn him up. Burn him up like bow, baby. And dead? No. Nope. Dead? Yeah. All right. Should be the last enemy we need to fight, right? Hopefully. Did I get the gauntlet and the hairpin or anything? I think so, right? I think so. I believe so. I believe that is the case. And yep, we're at the top. Suit. All right. Let's go save. Money grubbing hoe, and then I'll probably call it a video. Money grubbing hoe, I'm here for you. I'm here to save you, dude. Why does it let like fucking? I keep pressing left after that, and it just I'm just stuck in place. It, I I have to go down a little bit. When I press down a little bit, I go in through the fucking door. It's happening every time. It's annoying. Anyway, we're here. Phew! Talk about a mega nick of time. I didn't know if you guys were even still alive. Hey, who's the festive dude in the party mask? Funny you should ask. We're playing a little game. Lord Leo's decided to play this part called Mystere, and we're playing along. We're not supposed to know who he is, but he's helping us, I think. Well, whatever floats his boat. Anyway, you'll never guess what that mega mangy creep Borgen did. Mega mangy, dude. Tell me all about it. Well, brothers, it isn't my dear Lamina. You're the last wave I would have expected to see in Pretagulia. <laughs> Sip it, you overweight toad. I'm tired of listening to your trite speeches. I have three reasons for being here. The first is to rescue my mother. The second is to make certain that you never set foot in vain again. And the last is to make sure you pay us a fat wad of compensation for what you've done. <laughs> I find your manner so, I don't know, delicious. You are always so hellbent on changing others. Perhaps you should consider changing yourself. Besides, your sweet mother is no longer in Pentagulia. She's busy making a new home for us in Neovane, my illustrious new city, or magic city. Neovane? Ruff, 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 ruff. Yes, that's right, Cupcake, Neovane. And the prize of surprises, she loves it there. But why wouldn't she? Her surroundings are those of a queen. I have given her the finest of all that this world has to offer. And all that I ask is that she grow to love me. Despite what you think, it can be done. If you try hard enough, I'm certain you could grow to find affection for me as well. But I'll think of you as the daughter I've ever had. What the fuck, man? Daughter? Oh, God. Don't say the word daughter, fat boy. She's like, hell no. Yes, so Tumiri and I will agree to be my wife. I can feel it. After Tumiri and I are reunited, your ability to revive the magic little vein will be forever sealed. I'm afraid you don't stand a chance of stopping me, Cream Puff. I won't allow you to do this. Ruff, ruff, ruff. I suggest you get a handle on your emotions, Switcher. Soon, the only words to letter will be those of the royal daughter. When so far as revived, the power of Neil Van will finally be... Oops, I almost let the cat out of the burn. I mustn't let you in on that little secret until we're back in Neil Van. Believe me, Poopsie, you'll feel right at home. <laughs> but since you seem a little adverse to that idea right at the moment, I best put you in a holding cell. Sweet dreams. Daughter. Oh, hell no. I do love that everyone has their own aspect to each of these four um, dragon, ba you know, what do you call them? The four four heroes of Althena. The four heroes in this, you know, time. I love that each of our characters has their own beef with each one of them in their own unique ways. You know, Lamina because the dude's trying to get at his mom and b rebuild Neovane. Jean because it's her former master who's evil, apparently. But we thought he was good, but he's actually evil. And then with Ron Farr, it's his girlfriend, and and uh, Leo is Leo. So it's pretty cool. I like the dynamics going on here. I like how they built this. This is my style of story for sure. Anyway, there is no way I'm going back to Neovane with that tepid look at a bucket of lard. We've got to find a way out of here so I can rescue my mother. And besides, I don't get what Borgen said about Zophar. Are he and the Chosen somehow connected? Yeah, that's the thing. If, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hmm. I must take my leave of you now. I have just remembered an urgent matter. Oh, have you? Mr. Mass White Knight, thanks for saving us. Why in the world was Leo wearing that kind of getup? He's a weird bird, that's for sure. I think it's because Leo can't help us openly, since his allegiance is to the Chosen. I think he's conflicted. Hopefully he works that out. He works it out before he thinks that kind of getup is normal. He is playing a dangerous game, though. If the false Athena finds out, let's not think of that. Indeed. Alright, guys. I think that's probably a good place to call today. 
as I figured, Leo did ditch us as soon as he sa we, we saved us all, because now he has no obligation to help us at the moment. He's going to go deal with his own problems. And, uh, well, he's leaving us to go save Lucia on our own. So in the next episode, I'm going to head back down the Black Dragon Tower. We don't have Leo anymore, unfortunately. I should probably kill all the enemies. That's all right, though. Um, I may, like, kill them all on the way. I don't know. I'll probably just wait. I'll do it next episode. Um, in the next one, though, we'll, uh, we'll go look for my girl Lucia. Hopefully save her. And see what happens after that. So, get ready for a doozy of a time in the next one, guys. See you then. Peace!